Welcome to Uncivilized Health, guys. My name is Chris, and today we are asking ourselves, will it fit? The most important question you guys are probably wondering is, will it fit in the space that I have uh, it planned for? So what I have actually done here is outlined in blue tape. I've outlined the Tidex T1X recommended uh, space requirements that you can find on the website, and in the tan, I have outlined the Tidex T3X space requirements. So without further ado, let's take a closer look. Tidex T1X, the blue tape, recommended space requirements. We are looking at 300 centimeters or 118 inches this way, and we're looking at 169 inches, 430 centimeters this way. So I just wanted to give you a closer look that these are the dimensions that are recommended online. And let's do a quick walk around and uh, we'll take a look at you know what actually the space actually looks like if, if you were to put the Tidex T1X in these dimensions. All right, guys, so just as a reference point uh, on the recommended uh, dimensions, I use the Tidex um, T1X logo on the Smith machine as my center point, or you can use the weight post, whatever you want, but that's just what I chose. So um, doing a quick walk around, you can see all of the space that you have here on the back. Now, as we do the front, you'll see that um, you, you would probably wind up shifting it a little farther back uh, for space but like I said this is the absolute minimum requirements uh, so I want to make that clear uh, of what you can need so you can still see here that there's plenty of room here on the back for the machine um, let's do a let's do a look at the side the side um, the side um, how do you know, the side space is pretty accurate on both sides you still have plenty of room uh, to walk around but uh, the biggest thing on here on the back is the space for doing like cable crossovers or maybe you get um, you know uh, one of the add-ons like this one you see here. You still have plenty of room. So plenty of room to walk around, do uh, any of the other activities. And like I said, on the front, we'll kind of, we may scoot this back a little bit uh, for, your, for your machine, but I just wanted to show you this. So here's the walk around. And as you can see, you still have a good foot or so of space um, to walk on this side if this was in the minimal requirements. So still good, still good. And taking a look at the front here, you can see where I, because of where I centered uh, my dimensions, it does go right up to this space. So um, absolutely, I would, you know, wouldn't use the center as my marker. I would probably scoot it back a little bit, maybe use where the weight plates go as more of a, a centerpiece, but uh, here you go. This is the recommended minimum space requirements for the Tidex T1X. Let's do it. Let's take a look, a uh, closer look at the Tidex T3X dimensions. All right, people. Well, uh, like I said, I also, I don't have the Tidex uh, T3X, but I wanted to give you what the anticipated dimensions or recommended dimensions are look actually look like online. So you can see from the blue tape to the brown tape, the actual uh, distance. It's an additional 130 centimeters, um, further out this way and I believe it's an extra 70 centimeters uh, going out towards the edge of my garage which I'll do a quick walk through to show you that as well but essentially what this means for for this machine is that it would be pushed more towards the center of this room um, and so that should give you uh, more of a, a good reference point but you know because you're gonna be on the tight XT3X you're gonna have room for squats you're gonna be doing the ab exercises on that side of the machine and then you're gonna be doing your dips and everything else. Uh, and I forget what the other station is, but you're gonna be doing that on this side. So that explains the additional room needed uh, for the minimum recommended um, requirements. So like I said, this is 430 centimeters this way, and this is uh, 500 centimeters or 197 inches this way. So let's take a quick look. And then at the very end, we'll actually talk about the height of this machine. All right, people, well, we are looking at the recommended Tidex T3X uh, dimensions right here. So you can see, like I said, the additional space required over here. And the Tidex T1X would be, would be scooted this way a little bit further. And the additional space because of the, the extension in the middle of the machine, you can see why it's pushed out a little bit further this way. But let's do a walkthrough. Let's kind of take another closer look. And you're not going to see too much of space because of, like I said, I only have the Tidex T1X, but you get a good feeling. Uh, the blue line is still the same mark over here, so uh, that would be the edge of the wall. 
um, for the minimum and it would come over this way. I had to skimp out on the tape right here, guys, because, come on, look at all this tape I'm gonna have to rip up after this video. But, um, so here you go, guys. Here is all of the tape and this is the Titex T3X dimensions. And guys, so the maximum height of this machine is at 90 inches. And that is from that Titex um, T1X logo. I took a tape measure, went from the top of that to the floor, and it is right at 90 inches. So that is um, the, the max height. And I'm assuming you guys who have uh, eight, nine foot garages, that's what it's gonna kind of look like. So just make sure it's set back far enough if you are gonna put this thing in your garage. But uh, max height, 90 inches, Titex T1X and T3X. It's not gonna get any taller, guys. So uh, that should give you a good reference point and maybe you putting it in a room with like a fan or something like that, just make sure it's away from uh, below 90 inches, so. All right, people, well, this concludes another episode of Uncivilized Health. I hope uh, this answers your questions of will it fit? I know that's one of the most important questions you guys will have uh, when considering this machine. So I hope this video was uh, very valuable. If you do have any further questions, please make sure to leave a comment down below. As you can see, I do respond to every comment uh, pretty much on, on YouTube and also look for me on Instagram. I DM me your questions. I did not have someone like myself to ask questions from a customer uh, that had this machine. So DM me, follow me, and I will respond to those questions as well to try to help you guys out. So without further ado, guys, this is Uncivilized Health. My name is Chris, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys.